Howdy and welcome to Sunday Afternoon Football. Dennis Cometti here, broadcasting live. With 800 goals and 282 games to his credit, I'm joined now by Matthew Richardson. All right, Dan, really excited about this one today. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banner looks great and everything is spelt correctly. Mind you, I'm the last man to ask. Banners ready for the players. We have the toss of the coin. Richmond kicking to the left of screen. Round eight. I think it's more than fate that is dragging these two teams reluctantly down the ladder. Thankfully, though, they're evenly matched, so it could be a tight game. I can't wait for this match to get underway. I've had sleepless nights dreaming about this clash. I'm excited for this one, Richard. Love is playing every game as if it's your last. Claimed by Bruce. Lucky bounds collected. He's got the football now. Strong mark by Rioli. Jams it on the boot. Great grab. Graham hand passes out to space. Martin bucks. It's impossible to outplay an opponent. You can't outthink. Think about that. Simpkin marks it. Jams it on the boot now. What did they used to say at school? Butterfingers lets it drop. A low stabbing kick. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Spears a low ball. Strong mark by Davies Uniaki. Works it across the ground. Takes it well. Rance is one of the most astute decision makers in the game. Footy is becoming more and more a thinking game. And you can't be out there purely on physical ability. He's a great asset to his club. Gloston collects it. Because Willis has the ball. It gets tapped. Caddy with the kick. Right. Gains the loose ball. He hits it. Gloston gets the ball. Martin gets the ball. He taps it. Lambert collects it. And the ball goes out of play. The Ruckman battle it out. Punch by Bruce. Hooley in the back. Davies Uniaki kicks it. Dork marks it. Sends it on its way. Bruce takes the mark. Slams it on the boot. Great mark. Walker is very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. The ball's up. Sends it home with a huge kick. North Melbourne bat in front over the Tigers. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Cleared by Bruce. Down goes Grants. That's a piercing kick from Grants. Yet his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Solder kicks. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. Nice drop punt. Nice mark there. 35 metres out. Set shot on a 45 degree angle for Menager. 40 metres out. This 45 degree angle shouldn't be too hard for Clostin. And they like it behind the goals. He likes it. Goal. He sinks his first goal. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Pruis obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. A good contested mark there. Puts boot to ball. He grabs it. Conker boots it long. Clark with good strong hands. Slams it on the boot. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. 50 metres from home. Going for goal number one. A favourable bounce. Simpkin tries his luck with a shot at goal. North Melbourne by six points. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Tap to advantage. He sockers it. 
Cruz. A good crummer. He's got the football now. Rance receives the ball. McDonald puts the ball in the hands of fate. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alleyway. Asprey soccers it. Graham bumps. These possessions just keep ticking over for Zolder. Cruz wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. Ball up in the centre square. Cleanly tapped out of the ruck, Grigg gets possession. Zeeble slams the ball to his boot. He steadies now in front of goal. Tarrant goes for goal. That's a goal. The Kangaroos have the advantage on the scoreboard over the Tigers. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the ruckman unleash. Grigg onto the ball. Picked up by Zeeble. Almost a touch of synchronised swimming about that mark. That is the peg. Takes that one strongly. A low stabbing kick. Cunnington ran to meet the ball and took the mark superbly. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Soldo just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. He slams that on the boot. He grabs it. Lewis covers some ground with that kick. Grig with good strong hands. Sending it on its way. Rioli with beautiful hands above the head. He really is a great target to kick to. He lines it up with the goal. 60 metres out, choose to kick it. Caddy takes it well. Trims the grass with that one. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. He's a long kick. Takes it well. He kicks it. If seeing is believing, then that guy could be one of the all-time great illusionists. He sinks his first goal. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Goldstein aims for his man on the ground, scoops up the bouncing ball, sneaks the ball away in time. Marked by Rioli. Rioli has so much potential, he could just be anything. Zeeble with the ball, he kicks the ball. Cunnington with a strong mark, puts boot to ball. It's a mark. Wood covers some ground with that kick. The mark will be paid. Kicks it. Takes that one strongly. Prestia kicks it. Asprey with the mark. Kicks. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Taken by Thompson. Thompson has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. Door kicks it. Turner takes a contested mark. He gets boot to the ball. That's a nice strong mark. Goldstein boots it, just wasn't able to grab it cleanly. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. Grigg kicks it. Ellis with a strong mark. Puts boot to ball. A mark by Butler. Richo, how well are these teams performing? The tackling has been really equal in this match so far. The Kangaroos, 10. The Tigers, 6. The Kangaroos and the Tigers are close in handballs. Neither team appears to have a distinct advantage. Uh, that's a unique spin on things, Richo. we go for quarter number two. If you can believe it, the minds can achieve it. Guided down nicely by Bruce. Zeeble has the ball. Handballs from the tackle. He shows the quick hands. Gets boot to leather. Turner takes it well. 50 metres from home. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Prestiak sends the ball on its way. Graham just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. Martin boots it long. Pooley with the ball. He's got a hold of that one. McDonald marks the ball. Puts boot to ball. Great hands. Davies Uniaki kicks from the pack. Pruis kicks it. Wood with a strong mark. Jams it on the boot. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Keeps it close to the ground. He wins the contest. He kicks the ball. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. Walker kicks for goal. If that was basketball, you'd call that from downtown. North Melbourne lead, Richmond. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. 
Cruz punches. He doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. In fact, it's fair to say he doesn't know the meaning of a lot of words. He soccers it. Guided by Cruz. He collects the loose ball. Martin taps. Going for goal number one. Solder has missed it. Two goals will see Richmond in the lead. McMillan has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Menadieu lines it up. 35 meters out. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. Menadieu did well then. He'll be happy with goal number two. Richmond, no time to drop off. Less than a kick the difference. Both rucks have a fair shot at this one. Pruis, he's just a real workhorse in the ruck and I reckon his teammates really appreciate his uncomplicated approach to the game. Martin boots it. Graham wins the contested ball. He slams that on the boot. Dorr claims the ball. He boots it. Turner marks it. Gets boot to leather. Great grab. Walker can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. He kicks the ball. Tarrant with the ball. Tarrant has a kick. Tarrant has got it. North Melbourne in front. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare downs as they wait for the bounce. Rant with the football. Gains possession. Solder throws the ball. Free kick. Sends it on its way. A great effort. Jams it on the boot, and the mark will be paid. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Chips it down towards half forward. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell a solid mark from Davy Zuniaki. 40 meters from home. A pretty safe bet from this position. Chalk up a goal for the Kangaroos. Davy Zuniaki getting his first. The Rucks prepare to go at it to this bounce. The ball is bounced. Tap by Goldstein. Zebel with the ball. Gains possession. Short taps. Taron bumped off the ball. Walker just told him to turn his head and cough. Lovely hand pass hits the man. DeMont, cool under pressure, releases in time. Asprey gets the ball. Davies Zuniaki with a kick out of the pack. Conquer sticks out his hands and collects the ball. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. Takes it well. Well, Richmond haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. Soldo kicks it. Plenty of space for a very easy mark. Caddy puts his boot on it. Loston with good strong hands. 40 metres out. Floston drives the ball towards goal. Richmond get the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. Floston with his second goal. All is in readiness. Here we go. Goldstein decisively. Solder decisively. A rushed kick. Puts boot to ball. Cleanly picked up. Clean pick up by Prestia. Handballs. Graham throws it, clear as day. Lining up the goal now, puts boot to ball. That kick was asking a bit much of Grants. Short, decisively. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Graham slams it on the boot. Clark has got some sure hands. He doesn't often fumble the loose ball. Walker goes for home. Tarrant scoops up the ball. Asprey has given away a free kick. DeMont takes a shot at goal. North Melbourne with the ascendancy over Richmond, leading the match 42 to 25. The bounce, laser straight. Clean tap by Goldstein. Kicks it. Graham gathers. Takes possession. Off the ground. Turner aims for his man on the ground. Tarrant setting his sights on the goals. 40 metres out. The kick from almost straight in front of the goals. Asprey is a great overhead mark, but anything below his knees and he struggles to get down for. If he can add that to his game, he's going to go up another level. Sending it on its way. The ball is tapped. Goldstein scoops up the ball. He knocks it down. Rance with the tap. He scoops it up. Palms it down nicely. Guided by Cunnington, scoops up the ball. 
The ball picked up. He's running hot, Richard. Well, Dennis, I just think he's having fun with them now. Hooley with the ball. He's got the footy in his hands. A no-good kick from Turner. The Kangaroos can calm down now and focus on increasing this three-goal lead. Grimes has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Opportunity now for Simkin. He kicks it. Gun barrel strike. North Melbourne relaxing with a four-goal lead. Let's go to the stat sheet now and see how the players perform. The Tigers' stats not reflecting their poor effort on the scoreboard. Uh, that's a unique spin on things, Richo. Yeah. The players have taken to the ground looking refreshed and they're ready, so let's get the third term going. They've come out from the long break and hopefully they have agreed upon the price they must pay for success. Doing this enables teams to ignore the minor hurts, the opposition pressure and the temporary failures. Jams it on the boot. Great grab. Chips it down towards half forward. Strong mark. Oh, something must have carried that. It's a lovely long kick. Goes up the line. Brands claims the ball. Brands feeds it wide. Clark claims the ball. I guess it was worth a go. The umpire's throw is a good one. Cleared by Solder. Martin gets the ball. All of a sudden the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Hooley. Oh, he's dropped it. He'll rue that one. Umpire's picked it up. He stepped over the boundary line. Here we go again. Pruce hardly provided a challenge. That drop punt works well for Cunnington. Clark couldn't keep his hands on it. Rioli goes back to collect the ball. A free kick and several tick. Rioli slams it on the boot. Martin puts the ball in the hands of fate. McMillan tries his luck along the ground. There's players everywhere, but somehow he manages to send out the handball. Chips it down towards half forward. The Tigers just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. Caddy lines up. The Tigers trail. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Here's the bounce. Richmond are being smashed at the clearances. They need to add some ferocious tackling, defensive play and contested ball winning to lay a platform to relaunch an attack on this match. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Pruce aims for his man on the ground. Boots it. Great grab. Puts boots a ball. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Lambert, he's really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. Loston takes a shot. He taps the ball, gets it off the ground. Menadieu climbs it behind. Richmond patrolling. Needs someone to break hard. He's ready to bring it back into play. A spearing kick from McMillan. He has no trouble grabbing that one. Wright keeps that one low. Thompson with the mark. Goes up the line. Martin marks it. Jams it on the boot now. Got his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Miles kicks. Butler wins the marking contest. A monster kick will be required from here. Kicked at goal by Butler. Butler goes long and gets the goal. The Tigers only trailing by less than a goal. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The bounce laser straight. Pruce with the tap. A favorable bounce. Solder gathers. Wood with the tackle. Batted down nicely by Simkin. Free kick against Grimes. Simkin with the shot. It's in the air. Took up a goal for North Melbourne. He's kicked four and he looks like he's not done scoring yet. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Pruce with the first touch. Wood has it. Wood has got some sure hands. He doesn't often fumble the loose ball. He boots it. A great mark under pressure. 
Sending it on its way, slips through his fingers. Even under extreme pressure, he's got the handball out. Takes possession. He goes down and the ball comes loose. Anderson taps the ball. Anderson takes possession. A solid use of the body there. Puts boot to ball. Martin taps it. He kicks the ball. Prestia mops up the ball. The ball is tapped. Takes possession. The ball finds its target. Reload with the kick. Pruis wins the marking contest. Pruis has to stay committed. Then with a little bit of guts and determination, he should make something of his career. Conker with a strong mark. He kicks the ball. He claims the ball. He gets boot to the ball. Strong mark there. He boots it. Turner wins the contested ball. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Conker with the kick. Short with good strong hands. He handballs it. Reload breaks the tackle. Walker has caught him for holding the ball. Works it across the ground. Takes that one strongly. He boots it from the pack. Simpkin grabs that one. Boots it. What a mark. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. The Richmond forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Thompson, just the better man in that contest. Zebul really forced to earn that mark. Yet his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. He kicks the ball. He marks the ball. Choose to kick it. Strong mark by Hooley. Puts boot to ball. Strong mark. Sends it on its way. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. He shouldn't have bothered. Caddy has played a shocker. He's like a long jumper who can't reach the sand. Sockers the ball away. Hastily kicked. Lobs the handball. Gets boot to leather. Takes the mark all by himself. Martin is just ridiculously consistent. I'd like to see a clanger from him for a change. When coaches have someone like him in the lineup, they can just sleep a lot easier knowing how reliable he is. Rance boots it. He marks the ball. We'll have a look at the stats. Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close. Locked horns in the tackle contests. 40 to 30. A real arm wrestle out there with the possession stats at 52% to 48%. Insightful, Richard. Only one term to go now. The game isn't over till it's over. Good fist. Solder gets a nice bump from Davy Zuniaki. Squeezes out a handball. Sweeping handball. He timed the release to perfection. Wins the handball. Choose to kick it. That was all Martin. A long way out. Martin for the kick at goal. That's a goal. What a long kick. Still enough time to turn this around. Umpire has the ball. Ready for the centre bounce. Clean tap by Zolder. Cruz guides it. Big man does nicely. Goes short with a hand pass. Pressure didn't phase him. Kicks as cool as the other side of the pillar. Punishing kick from Caddy. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. 50 metres from home. A 30 degree kick for Lambert. Intercept by Hibbert. Sends it on its way. Davies Uniaki. Sends the Sharon on its way. Cunnington needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. He marks the ball. Short. Puts his boot on it. Graham marks it. He kicks the ball. Hooley, just the better man in that contest. He boots it. Miles gets the upper hand. Kicks it. Hibbert looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Thompson gets a less than pretty drop putt away. Solder sends the ball on its way. Kicked by Martin. Nice work from Butler. Boots it. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Martin is one of the cleanest marks of the football in the game. He taps the ball. Zebu hits it. He gets a fist to it. And the ball is out of play.
Soldo. Leave the pinatas for the kids. Not sure what the problem is from here, but something is definitely wrong. Richo, can you tell us what you saw? The doctor will have to take a look at that one. He wins the contest. Sends it on its way. Nice hands. Kicks it. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Rioli. He's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Turner, with the tap, Grimes, picks it up. A nice contested mark. Rance, puts his boot on it. That's a mark. Ellis, puts his boot on it. Soldo, marks the ball. A lovely drop pass. Graham has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Gets boot to leather. Caddy, the better man there. Too far out to score, surely. Going for goal number two. He was celebrating the moment that left his boot. That's two in a row for Richmond. Richmond in front now. There's the bounce. Pruis obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. He gathers up the intercepted ball. Wood with the mark. He gets boot to the ball. That's a nice strong mark. He slams that on the boot. Scoops up the ball. Takes possession. Marked by Asbury. Kicks to the square. Good mark by Ellis. Kicks towards the middle of the ground. Thompson looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Rams the better man there. Picture perfect drop punt taken by Asbury. Puts boot to ball. Ellis the better man there. Ellis, he's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable. And he requires a watchful eye at times. Caddy goes for goal. Caddy sinks the long kick. The Tigers have the edge over the Kangaroos in this match. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Punched by Bruce. Squeezes on a handball. Smothers. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. Turnick lines it up. Kicks it. Rance has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Revolt has the ball. Bumps the pigskin. A mark by Bellis. Slams it on the boot. Asprey got under it. Bumps the big skin. Caddy takes the mark. He kicks it. Caddy. Goal number four and I'm sensing there'll be another. And maybe even more given the opportunities he's getting. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Goldstein with the punch. Rance gets a hard bump from Walker. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. Short. Keeps that one low. Wins the hard ball. Paul Lee's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. It's a mark. Graham puts his boot on it. Right. Wins the contested ball. Puts boot to ball. Slips through his fingers. It's been cut off. Handballs it into open space. Asprey slams the ball to his boot. Minaju just gauging which way that wind is blowing. Sends the Sharon on its way. Opportunity for Caddy. 45 metres out. Kicking from about a 30 degree angle here. 45 metres out. Minaju kicks for goal. The mark by Nick Miller. Picture perfect drop punt. What a turnaround. The Tigers certainly fought an uphill battle to win. Now that it's all over, how did you see that game, Richo? We have to feel a little bit for North Melbourne. They've worked really hard to get into a good position to win this match, and they've let a golden opportunity slip through their fingers. The Tigers lead the Kangaroos 68 to 55 with the final siren. Well, Richo, it's been a fun match. We've enjoyed that one. It's been my pleasure, Dennis. We look forward to having everyone back soon.